Okay, in this video, we'll show you another application of if statements to a practical problem. So in the file annual revenue, you've got quarterly revenues for Walmart. And so in the Q1 row for each year, we want to calculate the total revenue for that year and have blanks everywhere else. Okay, so how is an if statement helpful? Well, it's very simple. If the quarter column is a one, then we want to add up the row we're in the revenue and the three rows below. Otherwise, we want a blank, and that's it. So if this equals one, we want to have the sum of these four, the one we're in and the three below it. Otherwise, we want a blank. And that should do it. So there's the revenue for the 1991. See, that adds up these four, 24, 37, 55. And that's it. I mean, that's all there is to that one. Without an if statement, that would be really, really hard. But with an if statement, that's a triviality. And our next example will show you how to do an analysis of the sales volume of a product using the product lifecycle model. And an if statement makes that really a snap. But we, uh, several if statements make that a snap, but we've got to really know our if statements. Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews. Uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here, and with that one, you can see it's 4 point something, or maybe even 5, I don't think it's 5, yeah, 4.8, and so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there, but again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know, thanks.